What's up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Davida, the Clipper Cut Queen. And um, I'm coming to you today. I'm going to demonstrate a temple fade on this gentleman right here. I'm going to demonstrate a nice, clean temple fade. And then we're going to go into a double color process. So this is part one of the temple fade and a double color process. All right, let's get this thing popping. Now start with my adjustable clipper. Get the cords right now. Here we go. Start with my adjustable clipper. I'm going to close it all the way. Now he likes a nice clean temple fade and a little high on the temperature. So I'm just going against the grain with my adjustable closed and I'm going to take it right to the level of where I want it to be clean at. Okay, you see that? Now I'm going to open it up all the way and I'm going to go in still against the grain but I'm, I'm doing a, a notching process where I'm sort of using the toe of the clipper and the tip of the clipper. So I'm I'm at a, a 45 degree, no, I'm not at a 45 degree angle. I'm more at like a 90 degree angle notching upward. Okay, just softly blending that hair in. Now I'm gonna do a little clipper over comb action. Pull that in there. And you see how I'm holding my comb at a 45 degree angle? I'm holding it outward. And the reason I'm holding it outward is because the way that I'm positioning my comb is also aiding in the blending of this process. Okay? So now I'm combing that down. Now all of this is going to be curly up top when we're done. So I'm just blending that in and I'm adjusting my, my arm on the clipper to like a halfway point and continuing that blend. I'm just notching halfway, notching little hairs that I have that I need to blend a little more. Don't be afraid to go over. You know, it's all right to go over that work because sometimes you go over it and you might see a couple hairs out of place. I see like a little light line there. It's, it's virtually undetectable, but I see it. So I'm going to get that line out. Flip over the comb. Tap that. Tap that little line right there. Then I'm going to open it up. Not all the way, just partially. And just notch it with the toe of the clipper. Then move on. Now I'm going to do the same process in the back. Once again, starting with my adjustable in the closed face position. Closed face position means that you cut off more hair. When your adjustable clipper is in the open face position, it cuts off less hair. Open it up. And I'm pretty much doing the exact same process that you just witnessed on uh, this side. On this right side. This cut is a really good, uh, really nice, uh, stylish blend. You know, you still get to keep a little hair, you know, keep the hair a little longer up the top. And you can either wear it like in a pro type style or you can wear it in a curly style, which is how he's going to wear his. That's how it's going to be when it's all said and done. Blending that in. And you see how I'm working my arms. It's still in the open position. I haven't changed that position. But I'm about to change it now. So I just put it in the halfway position. And I'm still doing this clipper over comb movement. Bring that out. 
just find clip over the comb to be very convenient for me. <laughs> right? We got that blended out. Now we're going to go on this side and do the exact same thing. Clean that up to the, almost like up to where his brow line ends right here. Clean that up there. Open it. Go up that 45 degree angle out or 90 degree out to a 45. And you will notice that no two sides of the head are the exact same. Each each of us, our bodies are different on each side, but it's slightly different in most cases. So, you know, the hair may grow a little different on one side than it does the other. So you may have to work different angles accordingly. You're, you might have to adjust your angle the way you uh, cut accordingly because, once again, this is not a robotic job. This is a very personal experience. So you have to work each side as well as each customer individually. Okay, let's get back to the thing. Somewhere, somewhere makes the switch. Yeah. Blending that up. Tapping that off. What makes temper material so unique is that it contains microcells. If you have a soft where you want it, so we've got the temper phase. Everybody has to see it and it's completed. We're taking a call. Comfort, sleep satisfaction, and back support. Just going to call it back. Right. Now we're going to go for a shape right Now we see you've got a little spin in this curl right here, but we're going to work that line right where it's at. You're not going to take it back no further. You're going to just work right where that line is. Now, now right here I started to see for the middle because that gives me a nice even judgment of level to go all the way across the corner. Got that side. I'm going to cut this right here. Just to give a little definition. How I'm blending and curving. And I went against the grain with that blend and curve. Now I'm going with the grain. See what I'm doing is I'm detailing this curve because it's already working with a temple thing. So I'm just furthering that blend from the face into the curve. All right, now we're going to move on to the other side. Take that straight across there, and we want that 
We always want that forehead to be clean, that line to be straight across. We don't want the sliding board line, so you got to make sure that your line is even from corner to corner. That same process like you get on the other side and you know, get the brain into that curve. Bring that tip out. back of his neck, go around his ear. Be very careful when you go around folks' ears because this is a, this skin is very tender, very gentle. So you don't want to damage or cut the ear. So take the corner and curve. Nice and soft. You don't have to add a lot of pressure. What's up, Mike? Home courts just came in. Money, Mike. Price. <laughs> Come on, man. Okay. I didn't doubt everybody else, son. You know what I'm saying? I ain't want to interrupt y'all, all right? Going around the other side. And, and as you can see, this is. You know, not a very time consuming process. You know, it's all about technique. Always get that little, you see how I'm pulling the sand next down? I'm pulling the neck tape down so I can get that hair that's underneath the strip. Okay, now this is part one of our Temple Fade double color process style. This is your girl, Davida the Clipper Cut Queen, signing off. Stay tuned and stay sharp.